Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are solving one-step multiplication equations. We're solving equations involving multiplication. We will be looking at multiplication equations, solving multiplication equations, and then doing a whole lot of practice. Let's get started. This is what multiplication equations might look like. Notice with each one of these that I've created, I decided to mix things up a bit. The most common are the blue, gr yellow, and purple equations you see there. 5x equals 20, 7n equals 13, 12b equals 36. These imply multiplication between the number and the letter, or the coefficient and the variable. The green one right in the middle there, I actually put a multiplication symbol, that dot, so 17.3 times a, and um, the red one I did parentheses around the letter x. In most cases, you will not see them in these green and red colored ways, but I decided I'd go ahead and put those in there. For most of them and for all of them we use as examples in today's lesson, we will have the variable and the numbers just right next to each other and that means multiplication. Alright, let's go ahead and look at how to actually solve an equation. When you're trying to solve an equation, you're basically trying to say what is x equal to? So there are some steps that you can follow to solve for our variable of x. Step number one is to look at the variable. It's important to focus our eyes there. This step might not be needed for very long, but when you're starting, you need to look at the variable. Then ask yourself what happened to it, or what is connected to that variable. And in this case, it's connected to multiplying times 4. So I just wrote in there times 4. Now what you need to do is the inverse operation, which is the opposite of multiplying times 4. Multiplying times 4, the opposite of that is to divide by 4. So we're going to divide the left side, 4x, divided by 4. We are also going to divide the right side by 4. And I'm going to write this as a fraction, mainly because it's the way that makes most sense. Um, and writing in the division symbol can make things a little bit messy. Um, so writing it as a fraction just makes sense. 4x divided by 4, the 4's cancel out, and you're left with 1x, or just x, on the left side, and 52 divided by 4 is equal to 13. There's a reason why I picked the numbers 52 and 4, and 4. Sometimes with easy numbers, we tend to just skip all these steps and um, solve it in our head. And I want us to be very comfortable with actually doing the work and doing the steps. So here's your first chance to do the steps. Practice the work. The steps are listed on the left. Here's your equation on the right. 7a equals negative 105. Hopefully you paused the recording and solved that. My variable is the letter. The letter is a. What happened to it? It got multiplied 7 times a. So I need to divide both sides by 7. 7a seven divided by 7 gives me a, because the 7 divided by 7 is 1. 1a one is just a. And 105 divided by 7 is 15. And because it's a negative divided by a positive, you get a negative result. Is that what you got? A is equal to negative 15. A great thing that we can do while we're solving this type of question is to check our work. So um, what's fantastic, again, I can um, take this original equation, 7a is equal to negative 105, and I substitute negative 15 in there. 7 times negative 15 equals one, negative 105, and I multiply 7 times negative 15, I do get negative 105, and that's equal to negative 105. So I checked my work by using the original equation. That's the original equation there. I check my work, take my variable here, plug it in, 
and we find that that is correct. With every single equation you solve, you can do this. You can check your work every time and know that it's correct. Let's take a look at our next one. This is a practice question for you. 2.5b is equal to 10. Use the steps on the left and solve it. Pause the recording, try and see what you get. Hello, welcome back. Um, the steps for this one here are pretty straightforward. Find the variable. The variable is the letter, so in this case it's b. What happened to it? I multiplied it times 2.5. So I'm going to do the opposite to both sides of this equation. I'm going to divide both sides by 2.5. 2.5 divided by 2.5 cancels out, and I'm left with b by itself on the left. 10 divided by 2.5 is equal to 4. Now, when I'm dealing with decimals, I want to check my work. So I'm going to check, is 2.5 times 4 equal to 10? Again, I'm using the equation here, 2.5b is equal to 10. And my value for b is coming from the solution that I did. Is 2.5 times 4 equal to 10? It is. 2.5 times 4 is equal to 10. The left side of my equation is equal to my right side. And so I've done a check to make sure my work is correct. Here's one for you. This one, I think you might be able to do in your head, but I want you to follow the steps. Go ahead and solve that following the steps. Pause the recording, come back when it's done. Welcome back. 4n equals 20. I am going to find my variable. n is my variable, and it was multiplied times 4. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4. 4n divided by 4 gives me n by itself. 20 divided by 4 gives me 5. n equals 5. I'm going to check my work up here. 4n equals 20. When n is equal to 5, 4 times 5 equals 20. Yeah, it does. It absolutely does. So I know that this is correct. I've done a check. I've done the proof. It's solved. I know it's right. So that's how we would solve the equation and check our work. Next practice question, I believe this is the last practice question. 7r equals 84. Go ahead and solve that one. Pause the recording, solve it, see what you get. All right, the steps for solving this. I am going to look at the equation. My variable is r. What happened to it? I multiplied it times 7. So I am going to divide both sides by 7 to get the final answer. 7 divided by 7 is 1. R, 84 divided by 7 is equal to 12. Um, I'm in the habit of, of checking my work, so I'm going to do that as well. Is 7 times 12 equal to 84? That's what I'm asking myself when I do the check. I take my original equation and I plug in my variable value right there. 7 times 12 is 84. So I've just checked my own work. Before I ever need to submit it, I can know I have 100% without ever having to miss it because I can check my own work before I submit it. Pretty nice. All right, some tips for success. Don't skip the steps. Don't skip the steps and practice, practice, practice. That's what you need to do to be successful. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.